Well, this is the HP Pavilion G7, and a customer brought it in to me because it has a problem, a fan problem. Let's go ahead and turn this on, and I'll show you what it's saying. So basically it says the error is 90B and it's system fan. And I've seen this before on these HPs. It just shut itself down. I could go ahead and start the thing up. Let's go ahead and um, turn it back on here. And if you hit enter during this message, it'll go ahead and start it up anyway. It's probably not a good idea to go ahead and leave it run like this though if there's a problem it can overheat and possibly cause damage but I want to check and make sure that the fan is in fact not running so that's why I'm going to go ahead and let it start let's go ahead and tip this up and I'll show you where the fan is The fan is down here in this vent area, okay? And the exhaust is these little holes right here. And often these little tiny fans, this is a, a quad core machine, and these fans just aren't powerful enough and they get weak and they stop running. So, you know, even though you could go ahead and use your machine, it's not a good idea to let it overheat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and uh, fix it correctly. There's probably a bunch of dirt stuck in this fan. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that today and uh, I'll tear it apart on camera so you can watch it. Alright, well the first thing I want to do with this G7 Pavilion is go ahead and take the keyboard because the fan is mounted um, right here, underneath here. And I can get to a little bit of it by taking this keyboard off. So I'm going to go ahead and try that first before I take the case all apart. So let's go ahead and get this uh, keyboard off here. Take the battery off. And then we have to take the service panel off here. Somebody already took the screw out. There, you, there should be a screw here for the uh, keyboard. Somebody left their plastic on to protect their computer. Anyway, the way that you take this one off is you poke something through this hole back here, like a small screwdriver. There we go. Yep, can't see much. There is that fan right there though. Let me get my other camera and I'll show you a close up of that. There's the fan in there. You can see it in that little hole. Now, I don't really see any dirt in there, but I will tell you that this fan doesn't feel real smooth turning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, plug it in and turn it on and see if it spins. Here we go. Yeah, it spins. Let's see if we get an error message. Nope. Makes you wonder if me moving this around knocked out any dust that was in the blades. Wonder if I could put my vacuum in this hole and just suck it out right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try that. It's running. Computer turned on. Let me go ahead and shut this down and I'll vacuum that out. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and take my vacuum over here and very carefully um, suck out this area right here and see if I can 
get anything out of there. Back on the bench. Okay, I brought it back to my bench. Let's go ahead and plug this back in and turn it on again and see if it's still running. Yep. No errors. Oh, it's got the, uh, that's just because we didn't start up last time. That's fine though. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together real quick. And then we'll talk about what I plan to do with the customer. Okay, well I put it all back together. I recorded it, but I the camera, I thought the camera was on, but the memory card was full, so I missed it. Sorry about that. But I just put it back together the way that I took it apart. And um, let's go ahead and try this out now and see how it works now that I've got it back together. So no air, it started right up. While it started this time, I do worry that it may have problems in the future. If I left a little piece of dust in there, then you know it's gonna cause problems again. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna leave this run for a day here at the shop and make sure that it's running. And then I'll go ahead and give it back to the customer and just charge her a minimal amount to do the repair that I did and let her know that uh, I didn't do the full workup on it. I didn't strip this down and take the fan out and clean it, you know, like I could have. And if it gives her problems, to bring it back and I'll strip it down and I'll also take off the amount that I charge her this time um, on her next bill, I'll subtract it so she doesn't have to pay this charge twice. I'll give her like a week to do that. Anyway, I think that's the best way to handle this. There's no point in tearing this all apart if I don't have to. I know I've done repairs like this in the past that I sucked up through the top and they've never given me a problem again. So I'm hoping that this is the same way. So if you have a G7, Pavilion or similar computer and you're getting a startup error this one was 90B fan code um, pull your your uh, keyboard off and, and see if you can get to your fan there taking this case apart is quite a big deal and I'd have to charge her like a hundred bucks to do that where this repair will be under 50 so hopefully that'll take care of it it seems to right now I'll if this computer comes back for a full teardown I'll go ahead and record that and let you know so thanks for watching guys I appreciate it I hope that uh, you can fix yours if you have this problem I'll see you next time bye for now hey guys this is Steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya